Here we have a hand driven rotator and a circular strap attached to it. Now let's spin the rotator at a high speed. Once you spin the rotator, you will find that the shape of the circular strap changes. It becomes expanded or bulged in the middle part while it becomes flattened from both top and bottom. Now this happens due to centrifugal force. Centrifugal force is a force which causes a body to deviate away from the center of a rotating body. So because of this centrifugal force, the shape of this rotating body changes. It becomes bulged at the middle part while it becomes flattened from both the ends. Now similarly, when our earth rotates on its axis, the centrifugal force is created because of which our earth does not remain spherical or circular. The earth becomes bulged at the equator and it flattens at both the poles. So because of this, the equatorial diameter is greater than the polar diameter because the centrifugal force is maximum at the equator and it is least effective at the poles. So the true shape of the earth is not spherical, rather our earth is an oblate spheroid and this shape happens due to its rotation. Now here we have a view of a canal. Here we can see that the water level of the canal gradually falls and soon the bottom or the bed of the canal becomes visible. Again, the water level of the canal gradually rises and it becomes filled with water. Now this alternate rise and fall in the level of water is known as tide. Now do you know what leads to the formation of this tide? We all know that the moon revolves around the earth. Now during this movement, the gravity of the moon attracts the water bodies present on the earth's surface. So the part of the earth facing the moon, that is this point, experiences an increase in water level. This is known as high tide. Now we can see another high tide at point B that is the side of the earth which is far away from the moon. Here we experience another high tide due to centrifugal force caused by earth's rotation. Now at point C and D we can observe a decrease in water level. This decrease in water level happens because most of the water accumulates at point A and B where we have high tide. So at point C and D we can observe a decrease in water level which is known as low tide. So apart from the gravitational pull of the moon, earth's rotation is also another factor behind formation of tides. Now before we proceed with our lesson, let us try to answer this question. Which of the following factors is responsible for the formation of tides? Is it revolution of the earth, summer solstice, earth's gravity or rotation of the earth? Yes, the correct answer is rotation of the earth. In the previous video, we just read that apart from the moon's gravity, the rotation of the earth also plays a vital role behind formation of tides. So the correct answer is rotation of the earth. Now this image shows the timings of India and England. Here we can see that presently at India it is 4 p.m. while at England the time is 10.30 a.m. So approximately there is a time difference of five and a half hours. Now this time difference happens because both these countries follow different time zones. In other words, India follow time according to the Indian Standard Meridian. Whereas England follows time according to the Prime Meridian. Now we know that both these longitudes are different. So the local time of both these longitudes are different. So because of this, the country of India and England has different timings. 
Now, not only India or England, but different countries all across the globe has different timings because they follow different time zones. In particular, there are 24 time zones across the globe. Also, each time zone differs by one hour or there is a difference of 15 degree of longitude between each time zone. That is to say that the time according to 135 degree west longitude is 3 am while the time according to 120 degree west longitude is 4 am. So, the longitude lying to the east of 135 degree west longitude has a time 1 hour ahead of the time at 135 degree west longitude. Now, a special longitude according to which the time of other longitudes are determined is known as the 0 degree meridian or the prime meridian. If the sun is overhead the prime meridian, then the time according to the prime meridian will be 12 pm or noon. Now, the longitudes lying to the east of prime meridian will have time ahead of prime meridian, whereas the longitudes lying to the west of prime meridian will have time behind that of the prime meridian. And the time of each time zone, as I just mentioned, differs by 1 hour. Now, we have different time zone across the globe because of the earth's rotation. In other words, as the earth rotates on its axis from west to east, each longitude faces the overhead sun at different points of the day. Now, when the sun is overhead over a particular longitude, that longitude will have 12 pm or midday. So, we have different time zones across the world because of the earth's rotation. Now, we already have a video on time zones and longitudes. You can pause the video and use the i dictionary feature to revise the topics. So, here we have a summary chart on different effects of rotation. In our previous lesson, we have already discussed about these effects of rotation that is variation in temperature of day and night, formation of day and night and deflection of winds and ocean currents. In today's video, we discussed in details about the other three effects of rotation that is formation of tides oblate spheroid shape of the earth and different time zones of the earth. Now, all these things are different effects of earth's rotation. In our next video, we will discuss in details about twilight. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to learn one to one with our amazing teachers or to get access to our 5000 amazing videos as per your school syllabus. Master each topic with our adaptive practice technology. Get million plus questions with step by step solutions and unlimited mock tests. Get all your doubt resolved instantly. Learn via games and win amazing prizes like playstations and ipads so at delta step learning is not just fun and easy but it's rewarding too so register for free now